So there's one kind of simple solution, which is to say, yeah, does it improve the quality of my life that I can look on my phone, whether it's on Google Maps or City Map or whatever, and get my way to the nearest train station in seconds and it's accurate? And you know what, you not even realize it, but those things are using open data. They're using train timetables that 10 years ago, Google couldn't even get. So absolutely open data improves the quality of people's lives. Also in city planning, in city decision making, in budgeting, it, could, it makes a real difference. We, you're trying to make better decisions using data. Having open data means there's so much, it can, the, the innovation ecosystem and the use ecosystem could just go so much faster because many minds, the best thing to do with your data will be thought of by someone else. And that just, it just unleashes innovation in that way. Even if we're just talking about the use of it not being even technology, but just like, oh, oh, you know, that guy over there in the department can use the data you've released in your department to do some really better decision about how they're going to, I don't know, cut down the trees or not cut down the trees. Great. That level, absolutely. Will it revolutionize governance or make for really great citizen participation? Mm, that's a lot harder. You know, like giving people information is not the same as them having time to be an informed citizenry. And so the fact that you have data out there doesn't mean that everyone's looked at it or is informed by it. And I think just improving governance is a lot harder. So absolutely, open data can, it's just, it's a huge win just for just running your own administration. You know, it's a win in terms of efficiency and delivery. It's a win for innovation. Will it transform governance? Probably not. It will help it. It's, not it's certainly not bad for it, but it's not, there's many more things that make up better government.